today's weather. I mean, I know it's already bleak and tragic and depressing, but what's even more bleak is what the administration is doing to our educational rights. So I want to commend Students for Educational Rights today for speaking on behalf of all the beautiful student groups that are here today in order to celebrate our collaboration, but more importantly, to fight back as we are students for our educational rights. I think it's safe to say that I, I'm tearing up a little, that I, among many of you, are extremely upset, pissed off even, about the state of our education. We came to CUNY with a promise that we are just as good as Columbia, as Harvard, as students who could afford a private education. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Woo! This makes me emotional because we're all brilliant students and we work very hard. Our parents have worked very hard and now that right is under attack. We are called the poor man's Harvard. Why? Because we are brilliant. Because we push. Because we deserve that same quality of education. We are future leaders. We are future mothers and fathers. We are the people that will control businesses. We are the people that will control education. So why? Why are the people in charge now doing this to us? They need us. We are their future. So we will fight back for it. Woo! <laughs> CUNY has had actually a very long history of doing this to its students. This is not the first time that we've had to fight back, unfortunately. This is not the first time in 20 years, nor is it the first time in 10 years, nor is it even the first time in five years, but I will tell you what, we are gonna keep fighting back. We are gonna keep fighting back until they actually do something to defend our rights, because we are students and we will push for our educational rights. We deserve affordability. We deserve to have open classes. We deserve for our professors to wanna teach here. We deserve our professors to have contracts so that they are happier in their day to day. We deserve for our workers to know our names and smile because they have wages so that they can go home and support their families and feel proud that they are working for City College, proud that they are a CUNY member. And we as students, we deserve what we're paying our tuition for. Yep. We deserve an education. We deserve allies. We deserve what we pay the administration to do, defend us. So thank you for coming here today, and thank you, SCR, for organizing this. So the next speaker on our list. Early 1940s, my two uncles went to City College. My mother went to Hunter, which was City College for Women in the Bronx. Without City College being here, and without City College being free, they never would have been able to afford an education. My grandparents were immigrants from Eastern Europe. My grandfather was a peddler on the Lower East Side. The lack of tuition enabled them to go to college to become professionals. I owe my life and what I've been able to do to City College and to free tuition, right? Now, the other thing is, is that we are also going through a contract struggle. Faculty and staff have been without a contract for over five years. So, who is right? This means that what it is, is difficult to hire new faculty, good new faculty. It's difficult to keep some of our colleagues here who have opportunity to go elsewhere. And ultimately, it's an assault on all of you. The budget cuts that are coming down, starting in the spring semester, when you go and register for classes, there will be classes that are not going to be available. A lot of classes are going to be overcrowded. There are going to be science courses without laboratories. And this is the start of a cycle. Right. And if we together, faculty, students, staff, don't fight this, the government, especially the state under Cuomo, is going to continue this process. All right? This is an attack on public education. We're seeing this through charter schools that are taking over public schools. We're seeing this with money going to the rich institutions, like, gee, what's it right down the street? It's begins with a C. Oh, Columbia. Columbia, right. We're getting the money to deprive you and to deprive us of a good, solid education. So this rally, this is supported 
by the union as well. And we're here to support you. Thank you. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. So you all know, without contract, we're having a major meeting next Thursday down at Cooper Union. And what this is doing is bringing faculty and staff from all of CUNY to talk about what's called a strike authorization. We are bringing up to authorize preparing possibly for a strike. Now you should all know that in this great democracy in New York State, public employees are not allowed to strike. There's a bill that if we go on strike or plan for a strike, we will get docked two days pay for every day out, and people can actually be put in jail. So this is something we're gonna have some serious discussion about, because ultimately together we have to fight this and come to a victory for all of us. Thank you. Woo! Woo! Down, down, with exploitation, up, up. With education. Down, down, with exploitation. Up, up, with education. Down, down, with exploitation. Up, up, with education. Down, down, with exploitation. Up, up, with education. going on there right now. Uh, basically it's a split title situation uh, with DC 37 and PSC mm. titles but doing the same work yeah. Yeah. which is actually totally illegal. Um, so there's a process underway, a legal strategy to address that. Um, but more than that, people are starting to realize how fucked over they are by the CUNY administration. Um, and we had meetings over the summer which were interesting because uh, we were told that there were these budget cuts coming down, but yet we are given no budget, um, no accounting whatsoever for like how much or where, whether it's operational costs or salaries. Um, and in the process of that, uh, asking for transparency in the budget, uh, all the PSC titles were cut. So now we have people who have lost 30%, 40% in some cases uh, of their salary, which you know, people were expecting to take home. Some people were getting that for 10 years, um, and now they're they're without that, that part of their pay. Um, so we're fighting to, to get it back and to improve the overall conditions um, at CUNY um, and at CUNY TV and the Grad Center in particular. Uh, but I just want to say, you know, it's really important on all these issues with the contract fights, um, with the, the student uh, tuition hikes, that we come together because the same Structure, the same institution, the CUNY administration, which is right behind us here, guarded by these campus security and NYPD officers, they're the ones that are making this happen. They're the ones protecting the interests of the Board of Trustees, the Chancellor, and Vice Chancellor, and they have no interest whatsoever in protecting us. We are the ones that make this university run. We are the students, we are the workers, we are the people that make Kenny happen. And they need to start realizing this because that's our leverage. And if we go on strike, I hope we go on strike together. So, Woo! Fuck, fuck the administration, fuck the board of trustees, we need to go on strike now. Strike! 